Ah, board, 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 board. Ah, seriously. Can the stitch snapper just come out already and maybe kill me so it will be more interesting? Officer Marcus, what the hell are you doing? Seriously, where's Officer William? You two are supposed to make sure that the stitch snapper is around, okay? Like, seriously, where is Officer William? I've been calling him and he hasn't received any of my calls for like about five hours now. What's going on? Uh, 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 Chief, uh, uh, don't worry, uh, Officer Willand, he's just, uh, uh, he's, he's in the bathroom, yeah, because, you know, he, he had some Taco Bell, and now he's got really bad diarrhea, yeah, because you know how Taco Bell goes. <laughs> you think I don't know what's going on? I had Taco Bell before, and it did not take me that long to get out of the bathroom. Now then, where the hell is Officer William? Oh, 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 God, sir! You're grabbing me by the balls really hard! <laughs> well, good. They don't call me the Nutcracker for nothing. Now then, where is Officer William? I don't want any more excuses. Where is he? <laughs> He's at Mario Luigi's house, okay? I promise I'm not lying this time. Just please let go of my testes! <sighs> you see? Was it hard telling the truth? Now, would you excuse me? I'm gonna go pay Officer William a visit. Oh, oh God! Oh, my tenders! <laughs> well, is the food ready? Uh, yeah. About that, maybe we should leave this place. Yeah, let's just go somewhere else but here. But Will, we haven't gotten dinner yet. Are you okay? Yeah, and besides, I want some chicken nuggies. Shut up, Luigi. I'm not in the mood for your bullshit right now. God, seriously, chicken nuggies, 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 nuggies. God, that that is cringe as hell. What are you, five years old or something? Yeah, do you want you want your bubble? Yeah, do you want your bottle, little baby, five year old? William, that's not nice of you. You show your manners. Yeah, like what the hell, dude? What is wrong with you? God damn it! Better be the place. Ah, uh, seriously, Will, you better be here! Aha! There you are, Officer William! Oh, crap. You've been skipping out on your police duties, and you better have a good explanation! Police duty? <gasps> Will, you're not a cop, are you? <sighs> you know what? There's no point in lying anymore. Yes, I am a cop. Okay? I am a police officer. I'm not rich, I'm not successful, and I'm not a lawyer. I'm a cop! Okay? Is that what you want to hear? I'm a cop, Mom! Alright? Well, well, why would you lie to me and keep this from me? Because I don't want you to worry, Mom. I just... I just cannot risk you to go through more stress. Of course I would be worried. Being a cop is dangerous, and we'll get you and everyone killed. Please, Mom. Please, I, I just want you to just tell me, okay? Why don't you support me on my life decisions, but you support Dad's? I just don't get it. Dad supported on your life and your decisions because he loved you. And you're not supporting me, so don't you love me, huh? Don't you? It's because, it's, it's because I am scared that you'll end up like your father. That, that is why I never wanted to live here, because I'm scared and worried. I'll lose you, just like I lose your father. Mom, I, I understand, but look. I know being a cop is dangerous, but it doesn't mean that I would stop caring about the people here and this town. Dad cared about everyone here. He cared about the people. He cared about this town. 
He wanted to be safe for everyone. He wanted to clean these streets from the god-awful filth here. All these criminals, muggers, serial killers. Dad became a cop because he wanted to protect everyone, including us. Which is why I'm becoming a cop as well. You're the only one I have left, Mom. I love you so much, and I can't lose you as well. You're the only family I have left. I became a cop so I could protect everyone I love, everyone I care about, even the innocents and you. And that's why I want to be a cop. And the other reason why I want to be a cop is because I, I want to fix my mistakes that I've done in the past. Because it was my fault that dad died. Whoa, what? what? Uh. <sighs> Remember those gangsters that dad told me not to join? Well, I disobeyed him. I joined that god-awful gang that he told me not to join. And well, they were planning to kill dad and and they knew that I was related to him. And then they... They tried to use me as bait. To, just to lure dad. And then... When I woke up... Well... I'll tell you the rest. What the hell? Ah! Ow, my head! What? Where the hell am I? Oh god, it's cold as balls out here! Oh, I gotta get out of here now! Oh, oh god. Uh, hey! Anyone out here? Uh, please! I need some help! Uh, huh? Oh my god! Sir, are you okay? Sir? Are, are you dead? D dad? <coughs> well... <laughs> I'm glad to see you're okay. Oh, oh. oh my god! Dad! Are you okay? Jesus Christ! What happened? Did someone hurt you? <coughs> uh, well, I got shot, so I don't know if I'm gonna make it. So son, please, avenge me. And also, delete my internet history. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm just kidding, son. <laughs> That's what you, you young people like to joke about nowadays, huh? <laughs> about your internet history. <laughs> Jeez Louise, Dad. Now's not the time to joke around. Seriously, why are you joking at a time like this? You're literally dying. <laughs> I just want to see you smile one last time before I kick the bucket <laughs> and Will just remember I love you and none of this is your fault <sighs> Dad please no Please don't die on me! Dad, please no! Please! This is so just stay with me, please! Dad! Please no! Dad! And so yeah. That is why I wanna be a cop and 
I kept this secret from you. Dad is dead because of me. You know, I never wanted to be a cop in the first place, but... But Dad, he wanted me to be a cop, and... I thought Dad wanted me to be a cop, because... He didn't understand me, but... But no. He just wanted me to care. But I didn't care enough. And that got Dad killed. And it was my fault. My fault that Dad died. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I didn't tell you this for years, Mom. I'm, uh, <laughs> It's not your fault, Will. It never was. Your father knew what he was getting himself into. He cared about you so much that he risked his life protecting you. You were your father's pride and joy. You meant a lot to him. You were more important to him than his job as a police officer. He would risk anything for you. He loved you so much. And well, I need to come out and say it, but it's really my fault that your father died. Wh what? I haven't forgiven your father ever since what happened to Melanie. I held that grudge for so many years and I, I took it out on your father and I regretted it. Because when your father went after the package thieves, well, I, I didn't give him back up, and he decided to go there solo, and I didn't do anything about it. If I would have given him back up, he would have been alive. <sighs> I regretted it ever since, so I'm sorry, Will. I'm sorry for everything. If I would see your father, I, I would tell him that I'm sorry. What the hell? So you're telling me that dad, he, he died and he was in danger and you knew about this? Why didn't you just tell us before? Because I hate myself, okay? I hate myself so much after all of that and I'm afraid to tell you the truth or else or else I would break your father's promise. You wouldn't be a cop if I would have told you this and well I made a promise to your father that that if I I would be able to make you into a cop so you could actually protect people, protect lives. Your father wanted you to grow as a person because he's afraid that if you wouldn't be a cop, you would end up like those, those gangsters. I need some time to think about this. I... I understand. But please, Will, remember this. Never keep secrets or lies from anyone else or else... or else it'll hurt you. Because keeping this secret... it's been haunting me for years and... Now my insides just feel like an empty void. An empty void of lies. So I'm sorry. I know it's not enough, but... You could take the rest of the day off and have some time to think about this. Again, we're sorry. We're gonna go after the Stitch Napper without you, alright? You... You and your mom... You... The both of you could have could have time to think about this, all right? Anyways, have a good day. Oh, and Agatha? I know you and Melanie 
We're the best of friends. Which is why you were kind of like a, a daughter to me. You made her happy, which made me happy. Which is why you're very important to me. So never forget that. Wow. I, I don't know what to say. We'll leave you two alone. I guess, come on, Luigi. Oh, and Officer William, please remember that this wasn't your fault at all. You, you've been through a lot, which we understand. It wasn't your fault at all. The real person to blame for this is the man that killed your father. Because right now, you're trying to improve as a person and make the right decisions. And honestly, if your father were here, he would be proud of you. And I know that. Anyways, take care. There I will. If your father would be here, I know he would be very proud of the man you are today. I miss him so much with all my heart. Me too, Mom. Me too. But you gotta understand that this is who I am. And I'm growing up. I, I can't always be with you, Mom. I care about you, but I, I have my own life. I have people to protect. I, I know. You're growing up, and I can't stop that. Seeing how selfless you are, and how protective you are for others, makes me realize why I always supported your father as a cop. And no matter what, I will support you through this. That's all I wanted to hear, Mom. That's all I want to hear. God damn it! You know what, Luigi? I, I think I would like to clean the kitchen now. <laughs> Bye, Mom! Have a safe trip! Ugh. Whew! Well, that went very well. Um, hey, Officer William. Um? We actually want to know if you could answer some questions for us. Yeah, could you please tell us more? Yeah, we actually really would like to know more about, you know, your life. Yeah, exactly. Like, for real, like, what's the deal with, you know, with your chief basically having a grudge against your dad? Yeah, and also, who's Melanie? Yeah, and what gang did you join? Oh, uh, well, <laughs> I mean, you know, telling the truth to my mom, it... It felt good. And you know, I would not mind telling the truth to you guys. But maybe another time, because today was a very, very long day. Understandable, Officer William. Yeah, you take care. Thanks, you guys. I just cannot believe you guys really do care about me that much. You know what? Take care. Take care, Will. <laughs> Anyways, Mario. Since you said you want to clean the kitchen, I guess now you could get started. Oh, come on, Luigi. It was my emotions that, that said that, not me. Excuses are excuses, Mario. <laughs> Anyways, get started cleaning. <sighs> Fine. Hello? Agatha, long time no see. Oh, ha ha ha, nice joke, Larry. If you're trying to get back at me for not sharing that apple pie I made, you can kiss my ass. Oh no, my dear. This isn't Larry. Then who is this? You don't remember me, do you? Let me give you a little hint. 
you remember this phrase that you heard a couple of years ago? Best imaginary friends forever? Wait. <gasps> no, 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 no. It's you? I thought we got rid of you. Oh, please. Did you really think I left that easily? After you tried to get rid of me, I had to get rid of your husband as a warning. So it was you. You shot and killed my husband. Please, whatever you do, stay away from Will. He didn't want to hurt you. It was my idea. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'm not going to do anything to Will. Yet. I'm going to save him for last. It's you that I want. So if I were you, I would watch your back. <laughs> now then, time for the robot uprising to begin. <laughs>